Okay, so now we're ready for part three of lesson three of making your outline of the teddy bear. We've removed the extra outlines and now we're ready to break apart the different, s a couple sections of the design. Again, this is a good practice to get into. You can try this and uh, there's a lot of learning going on with this outline teddy bear lesson. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and zoom in on the head of the teddy bear with his cap and his eyes and his nose. In part two, if you are following along with the exercise that you printed out, I forgot to talk about just getting rid of this little bit on the teddy bear's nose. So all I want you to do is go in and left click on the spot on the teddy bear's nose and delete that. Again, if you're doing quilt work or if you're uh, doing red work, quilting designs, that detail is not needed as you are working with the design. So just go ahead and get rid of that little spot on his nose. And now what we want to do is we there are actually two lines or two s lines of stitching on the teddy bear's eyes. And what we want to do is leave the center part and get rid of the middle piece and then leave the outside part. So that's what our, we're going to do next. To do that, let's go ahead and I want you to click not on the teddy bear's eye itself. See how I grabbed that center piece? What I would like to do is click on his nose and see what happens. We get more of the teddy bear than what we want. We get his nose, we get part of the eye, we get his the bill of his cap and then the little button on his cap. We want to break this apart and this is really easy to do. So with that part of the design highlighted, I would simply like you to right click your mouse. And when you right click the mouse, you'll get a new menu that comes up. And in that menu, you're going to see break apart. Click on break apart. What has just happened is the teddy bear now, the bill, the button, the eyes, and the nose are all separate pieces. With those as separate pieces, left click outside that work area or that box to deselect everything and now click on the nose. You'll see it's its own separate piece. Click on the bill of the cap. It really did break everything apart. One of the other things that did happen though, if you come over to your teddy bear's eyes, let's zoom in on that. When I click on the outside of the teddy bear's eyes, you're going to notice I have both the inner and the outer ring of his eye. I want to go ahead at this point, right click with those highlighted, break apart again. And now what you're going to see is you have two separate pieces. You have the, um, the middle ring and also the outside ring of his eye. Let's get rid of that middle ring. So you may again have to practice or try a couple different times. Go ahead and click on the middle ring of his eye and then delete on the keyboard. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other part of his eye. So make sure that you go ahead and if you have both pieces you can break apart and then left click on that inner piece. So again the middle ring, not the really small piece but the middle ring and then delete on your keyboard. Go ahead and zoom out if you're zoomed in as close as I am. And now you can see the teddy bear looks really great. All we have left is to go ahead and move a little bit of his cap. So go ahead, get rid of the nose spot, change his eyes around, and then come back and we're going to finish up with his cap.